St. Paul's Episcopal Church Sunday Holy Eucharist for our family dining room table. Today is August 9th, 2020, the 10th Sunday after Pentecost. My name is Sean Rousseau, and I'm joined by my wife, Carrie, and our kids, Eowyn, and Aislinn, and Summer Grace, <laughs> and behind the camera is LJ. We'll begin with announcements for our phased approach to regathering as church. We hold Sunday morning prayer outside at 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. in the parking lot. We continue for those who cannot join us in person this Sunday, Holy Eucharist online. Look for it, our YouTube video on the website in the Sunday email. And we're preparing the church for live streaming so that when we're back indoors, you can join us virtually if you cannot join us in person. It's good to pray with you online or outside. Thank you for joining us with your prayers and presence. Uh, for our music, serve all of our services online and outside this weekend, I'd like to thank Dr. Pat Avery. On Church School for Children and Youth, uh, we've delivered all the homeschool church school program boxes. Uh, it's called Take Out Church Prayer to Go. Uh, please email me pictures of your kids working on the activities or pictures of their completed projects. We want to include these photos in our Sunday Holy Eucharist YouTube video and on our Facebook page. Uh, S'mores and Stories. We have been given permission to hold social events outside with the same rules as worship with physical distancing and wearing face masks. Please join us Friday, August 14th and Friday, August 28th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. in St. Paul's Field and Parking Lot. Enjoy the fire pit, share summer stories, make s'mores. We'll have individual bags of s'mores ingredients and disposable s'more sticks available. Please bring a folding chair or blanket, glow bracelets, etc. Stay for 30 minutes or the whole evening. Please continue to watch for the following updates on our website, St. Paul's Episcopal Haymarket.org, our weekly email on Thursdays, our weekly email on Sundays. And consider during this time our church directory, keeping in contact with your church friends, our church website, clicking online giving to make a donation for your pledge Sunday offering or the rector's discretionary fund, or mailing in your pledge Sunday offering um, to the church office. All my contact information is listed in the church directory and in all the emails. Please feel free to call me on my cell phone or at the church office or email me for any reason. Uh, we're now ready to begin our Pentecost season Sunday Holy Eucharist. If you would like to follow along in the BCP, please turn to page 355. Everyone ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed, and blessed be his kingdom, kingdom now, now and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Turning the page, we proclaim the Gloria. Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the 
the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Grant to us, Lord, we pray, the spirit to think and to do always those things that are right, that we who cannot exist without you may by you be enabled to live according to your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Kings. Elijah came to a cave and spent the night there. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, what are you doing here, Elijah? He answered, I have been very zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, for the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altar, and killed your prophets with a sword. I alone am left, and there they are seeking my life to take it away. He said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind, so strong that it was splitting mountains and breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a sound of sheer silence. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Then there came a voice to him that said, What are you doing here, Elijah? He answered, I have been very zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, for the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and killed your prophets with a sword. I alone am left, and they are seeking my life to take it away. Then the Lord said to him, Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael, as king over Aram. Also you shall anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, as king over Israel. And you shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat of Abel Mahala, as prophet in your place. Whoever escapes from the sword of Hazel, Jehu shall kill. And whoever escapes from the sword of Jehu, Elisha shall kill. Yet I will leave seven thousand in Israel, all the knees that have not bowed to Baal, and every mouth that has not kissed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Be stolen in Psalm 85 and BC 2, 709 at the Atlas. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying. For he is peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. Truly, his salvation is very near to those who fear him. That is his glory may dwell, dwell in our land. land. Mercy and truth have met together. Right righteousness and peace, and peace have, have kissed together. each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth. And right righteousness shall look down from the heavens. Heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and he shall have pathway for his feet. A reading from the Romans. Moses writes concerning the righteousness that comes from the law, that the person who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that comes from faith says, Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Christ down. Or, Who will descend into the abyss? That is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But who does it say? But do, what does it say? The word is near you, on your lips, and in your heart. That is, the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess it with your lips, that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For no one believes with the heart, and so is justified. And one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. 
the scripture says, No one who believes in him will be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to be sa- to to and how are they to be believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim them? And how are they to proclaim unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory Glory to to you, Lord Christ. Christ. Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, and the wind was against them. And early in the morning he came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Christ. Christ. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Amen. 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 Matthew's story of Jesus walking on the water reveals to us just how extraordinary Jesus was. What did Jesus do before this extraordinary event? Something ordinary. He went up on the mountainside by himself to pray. At the heart of this story, Matthew is telling us that the disciples had an epiphany, a theophany. Somehow Jesus made known to them his nature, his personality. And in the middle of their fear, Jesus says to the disciples, Take heart it is I, do not be afraid. Jesus said, It is I. This is how he reveals that his name is the divine name of God. By doing this, Jesus identifies himself with God in a way that left the disciples in wonder and awe. Of course, there is some symbolic action on Matthew's mind, too. Water symbolized many things. In scripture, water quite often stood for chaos and death. The world had been created and covered in chaos and water. The known world was destroyed in a flood, and the Egyptians were killed by water. So Matthew presents Jesus as the master over creation. We are not at all surprised to see Peter want to share in that kind of power. So Jesus offers an invitation. It's simple. Come. And for a few brief steps, Peter shared in Jesus' power. Power over creation and the chaos of the water and the storm. But when the storm finally began to touch Peter's fear, he began to sink. Peter did share in Jesus' power, but what went wrong? Why did he begin to sink? To put it very simply, he took his eyes off Jesus, literally and figuratively. As long as he focused on Jesus, he walked well. But the moment he lost focus and saw the storm, he sank. We see see in the gospel Jesus questions Peter's loss of focus. You of little faith, why did you doubt? This seems harsh, a chastisement, but it was just an observation. Maybe the deep theological message is this. Jesus, the Son of God, the Lord of creation, remains faithful to the disciples 
No matter what is going on in life or how fearful those events might be, he comes to us so that we can be saved and recreated as the body of Christ, the church. The boat is often a symbol of the church community, and because Jesus is there, it is a safe place. Of course, Peter didn't have perfect faith in Jesus or himself. He was still human, but he did have a little faith. So when fear and doubt showed the littleness of his faith, he had to be graced. This story reveals what happens so often in our own lives. We have faith, but we lose our focus. We see the storms around us, the suffering, the bad news, the hardships, and we sink. Quite often we catch ourselves asking questions like, why is this happening? Or even, why is God letting this happen? This story teaches us that these kinds of questions are unfortunate, unnecessary, get us nowhere. God is with us in all these moments. God is present in all of creation, walking on the water or the chaos around us and constantly speaks to us, come. God is always giving us power over all the storms around us. But exercising this power requires keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus. As long as we do, we rise above. When we begin to pay more attention to the junk than to Jesus, then we sink. But even then, Jesus is there with an outstretched hand. And just in case this is not the way we feel about some of our experiences, we can look to Elijah's experience, which is completely different. Elijah is hiding. Queen Jezebel wants his life. Like Jesus, he went to a mountain, Mount Horeb, to pray and ask, why are you letting this happen to me? God's nature or personality was revealed in a new way to Elijah through the unexpected. Up till now, Elijah had experienced the power of God in extraordinary events and miracles, but now instead Elijah finds God in quiet and stillness in a whisper. Once the noise of life stopped, God's word began to sound in the silence of his heart. We can fall into the same trap of looking for the big, huge sign. We look for God to miraculously spring out of the heavens, take away the storms from around us. But for Elijah, God simply did something ordinary by whispering. And for Elijah, that was enough. These scripture readings, they tell us that God is in charge, whether or not we recognize how God is acting in big or small ways expected or unexpected ways. God has power over everything, all of creation, including the chaos of life. We're being told that if we keep our focus on Jesus, not on our surrounding difficulties, we can have the same power as Jesus. We can transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. Just like Jesus and Elijah, we need to find a safe place to pray that with patient confidence, we can hear the whisper of God. Maybe just buy some water on top of a mountain in a quiet room. That place can also be here in the boat of the community of the church, the body of Christ, where we can learn and listen and trust and be inspired by the words of those who have come and gone before us in faith. People like Gregory of Sinai, in the 14th century who said, prayer is God who works all things in us. Amen. 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 Please turn to page 358 as we profess our faith. We believe we in one God, God the, the Father, Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, Eternally God from the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, the God not made, of one being with the Father, through whom all things remain, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became a part of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death on his grave. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for forgiveness of sins. We live with the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please join in the Prayers of the People, Form 3, found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 387. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. earth. Give grace to us to do your will in all that we undertake, that our that works, works may be in your sight. sight. Have compassion on those on the prayer list, and especially for all the needs of Mariana and Patrick Crow, carried to full term, moms and babies and especially for all affected by the coronavirus pandemic, for those who are ill and those who have died of COVID-19 and their loved ones, for those who are afraid, for healthcare workers who are on the front lines of response, for researchers and scientists who seek treatments and an effective vaccine, for civic leaders who seek to offer sound wisdom and guidance, for funeral service workers, for those whose jobs put them in harm's way during this time. And especially for all affected by racial injustice and for the healing of our nation. For George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and their families and communities, and all who have died from racial violence. For persons of color who walk in fear and live with injustice, that injustice will be eradicated from our common life for our civic leaders and all in authority, that they may have wisdom, strength, and compassion. We commit ourselves to the way of love for those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that, that they, they may, may be delivered, delivered from, from their distress. distress. Give to all the departed, especially John Pogner, Senator Shirley Love, Linda Williams, Matthew Albritton, eternal rest. The light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for St. Paul and all your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share, share in your heavenly, heavenly kingdom. kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and for those of others. Let us pray. God of all power and love, we give thanks for your unfailing presence and the hope you provide in times of uncertainty and loss. Send your Holy Spirit to enkindle in us your holy fire. Revive us to live as Christ's body in the world, a people who pray, worship, learn, break bread, share life, heal neighbors, bear good news, seek justice, rest and grow in the Spirit. Wherever and however we gather, unite us in common prayer and send us in common mission that we and the whole creation might be restored and renewed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Please turn to page 360 as we confess our sins against God and our neighbor. We pray. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, that we may delight your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.
Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. With you. Peace Bye. Peace. 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 Bye. Peace. 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 Peace be with you, Summer Grace. Peace, peace be with you, Grace Lynn. Peace. The children are not peace, the same. Peace be with you. Sorry. It's just in. He just forgot. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God. Our prayer continues on page 361 with the great Thanksgiving Eucharistic prayer A. Lord be with you. And I and die with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it right, right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you and your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people, the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and in a new life in, us, in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. The last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask for your Son, Jesus Christ. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for each other as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let us, let us the feast. Feast. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ, brother mm -hmm. Kevin. 
body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Amen. Our closing prayer is on page 365. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Bye, everybody. Bye.